Not yet. Oh man, my little boot. No. Uh uh. There it goes. What is going on, guys? Um, so, I have not made a video in a very long time, but, um, there is a very good reason to that. So let me switch the camera real quick. So what initially happened with the car and why I haven't had it in a while was while I was at my buddy's shop, Edgar, the one that has my Mark III, uh, I was there and I had just put the bags on, hooked up the compressors, you know, just ran everything, not completely done or anything. So we were there and then I was gonna move the car, go to the car and I try to start the car and as you guys know, on these Mark Vs, it is very common for the ignition cylinder to lock up or just be hard to turn. So that happened to me. And usually it's been going on for on and off every two, three months or so. So when this happened or when this would happen, I would just give it a little more force and it would turn over. No problem. Um, but this time it got stuck so then i gave it a little force and the key broke off of the fob so then yeah that sucked um so the car i was able to turn it over with some pliers but then it would immediately shut off because the computer the car went into safety mode and if you know when the car goes into safe mode you can't do anything you have to get the immobilizer turned off and turned back on a new key program so that's basically what i had done to the gti and why it was gone so i got the gti towed over to volkswagen and sierra volkswagen over here in leon valley in san antonio um i did a you know abraham there that helped me out amazing guy helped me out with all the questions i had and with the price actually he helped me out a lot but uh, the car did stay there a little bit over a month which was really it didn't help me at all you know because realistically that's the only car that's registered and insured and everything good to go um so that kind of put a hurt on me and getting to work and everything but i mean we still we still manage so but yeah that's basically in a nutshell why the car's been gone for over a month um but now we have it back um they, they took a little longer because of the snow and no no power no no you know what i mean so they didn't work for about a week, two weeks. And then the key itself takes about a week to get to the Volkswagen dealership. Apparently that's what they told me. So that was another week. And then as soon as they got the parts, um, they were able to, they were actually able to, able to save the immobilizer, which that was the part that was gonna run me about $500, $600 apparently. But the, the tech that did the work did a really good job and was able to unscrew it without snapping it. So we were able to reuse it and just reprogram everything to the new key. And that was it. So yeah, now we have the car back. So as y'all have seen in the previous clip, we have the GTI back. She is filthy, um, but there's a lot of things going on right now. So I'm not really gonna disclose everything, but I need to clear out the house and get everything packed because I just made a big, big life decision, but I will not make any more comments or anything about it until I know more or until it's done, but on the car, because that's what everybody is more, more uh, mainly concerned about. So what we got left now on the car, let me show you. So, first of all, at the dealership for this, got a new key, cool. But, um, as of right now, what we need to do is finish the trunk setup, 
finished setting up the compressor and then the shocks in the rear both need like a washer because right now i don't know if you guys remember we put that little slip sh um, over the shock so that the uh the top hat would not have that much room to play but it still needs a little more so we're gonna do that we're going to probably run all of the lines to the sorry about that we're gonna run all of the lines up to the switches that we have up there and then we need to switch these 90s out for 90s that have check valves because right now these are 90s that are open both ends so whenever the compressor kicks on and fuels the tank the um all the system the whole system airs up which is no bueno but um so yeah we're probably going to start with the shocks in the rear maybe this weekend because after today is uh wednesday i believe yeah it's wednesday so this weekend we will tackle whatever we can on the car um and then we're gonna have to need to go get an alignment again and then i will purchase an intercooler for the car get it tuned and then just work on the aesthetic wise because right now the car is not running sorry the car is not running 100 percent because we have three inch down pipe straight pipe all the way back so we need to uh straighten that out get it tuned and i also have a pcv delete so that also has a plays a big part in how the car is running right now but um as i have updates i will update you guys but this is just a quick quick update for you guys um let me show you guys the two piece wheels real quick that have been sitting in the backyard getting filthy because of the snow and everything going on but this is my new puppy his name is oliver i've had him since he was about five weeks old and y'all know y'all know luke but right now we're moving oh dang it i just said it oh well but the three-piece wheels are right here so i'm gonna pull them out probably take them to the car wash get them get them uh power washed uh, and then probably fix the lips and throw them on the car maybe this weekend but yeah as of right now that's what i got for you guys and i think i told you guys we got that rear euro lip i mean euro lip euro bumper for the mark three but uh again i'm sorry for the uh the no uploads but we've got a lot going on here and it's for a good reason for good cause and you guys will know here shortly and um yeah i'm going to be doing a lot here in the next week or two a lot or maybe even month or two um to get really settled in like i said we're moving i said it already but not a lot of people know actually not any of my friends know really because i've been kind of keeping it on the low and um i did purchase it with me and my girlfriend signed um so this will be my house not my mom not my dad's my house so i am very very excited and uh, i'm gonna make a garage there and everything so yeah guys